Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm showing you how to make a skin softening emulsified sugar scrub. It is the perfect exfoliating and moisturizing body scrub that will leave the skin smooth and soft. Wanna see how I make it? Keep watching. Ingredients for this body scrub include shea butter, I'll be using Kapuasu butter, which is a much harder butter than shea butter. I'll also be using Emulsifier NF, which is going to help our scrub glide gently onto the skin and help all of our ingredients blend well together. Before we get started, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell. So just to recap, I'm using 10 grams of shea butter, 10 grams of Kapuasu butter, and 10 grams of Emulsifier NF. So for my liquid, I'm measuring out 28 grams of avocado oil. And I'm using avocado oil because it hydrates, it moisturizes, and it replenishes the skin. And well, of course, my skin loves it. So now I'm going to add it into a large beaker. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you do know that I do not like leaving any oil behind. So I'm using my mini spatula to get all of the oil out of my little cup. So now I'm just adding in my Kapuasu butter into my large beaker and I'm going to follow that with my shea butter and this is refined shea butter. So if you saw my last video, I talked about why I love using refined shea butter. So if you haven't seen that video, you can check it out after you are done watching this one, of course. There is a link above and also there is a link in the description box to that video. So now I'm just adding in my emulsifier NF. And I chose this particular emulsifier because it's easy to use, it's vegetable based, and it's going to help the sugar scrub glide gently across my skin when I actually exfoliate. So now that my oils and butters are in a beaker together, it's time for them to melt down. So I just place my beaker in a water bath on low heat, and it takes about 20 minutes for the butters and oils to melt down. So while that's melting, let's measure out some sugar. So my oils and butters look like they've melted down. I'm going to transfer this mixture into a large bowl so that it's easy for me to blend out. Now I'm going to place my bowl in the freezer for a quick cool down of my mixture. So it's been about 15 minutes and my butter and oil mixture is pretty firm. So I don't want it to get any harder than it is or it would be kind of hard for it to blend. So this is a good texture. So now I'm going to blend it with my hand mixer so that the consistency starts to morph into a more soft whipped texture. So every now and then while blending, you actually want to stop blending and scrape any mixture that's on the side of the bowl just to make sure that all of the mixture is being whipped. So now I'm going to place it back in the freezer for another 10 minutes. And this just helps me to get the fluffy butter texture that I'm looking for. So now I'm just going to blend it even more until I get that soft, buttery, fluffy texture that I'm looking for. So now I'm going to add in my antioxidant and for that I'm going to be using vitamin E. And of course, once I get it all out of my little beaker, I'm just going to give it another stir. Next, I'm going to add in my preservative, and I'm using Germol Plus, but please feel free to use whatever preservative works best for you, and it's best to follow the instructions on the preservative bottle, and that will tell you the percentage of the preservative that you should be using. Thank you. 
And now I'm adding in a fruity fragrance to give my body scrub a fruity, delicious smell. So when creating your own body scrubs and skincare products, you can use whatever fragrance and scents you like, as long as you're customizing them to fit your needs. So now I'm splitting my butter and oil mixture into two separate bowls so that I can add in different colors to my body scrub. So this is the perk of creating your own body scrubs. You can create scrubs that are different colors, that smell the way you want them to smell, and that have the consistency that works best for your skin. So the first color that I added, of course, is a pink magenta color because I love bright, fun colors. And so next, I'm going to add in a yellow, more lively color. So the colors just keep getting more lively and bright. So both of these colors are so uplifting. When I see them sitting in my shower, I'm literally drawn to it because the colors look so cute and bright. The colors alone make me actually want to use this emulsified body scrub. So now it's time to add in the granulated sugar. So I like using granulated sugar because of the texture, but if you're trying to make this scrub, you can certainly be creative and try other types of sugar. But to get this particular texture, I do recommend using granulated sugar. So now I'm going to do the same with the other half of my mixture. And now it's time to add my emulsified body scrub to a jar. So I'm using a four ounce jar for this and I'm just adding it in with a spoon. So you can pipe it into the jar if you'd like, but I think for this particular body scrub, just spooning it into the jar is much easier than trying to pipe it in. And as you can see, I have created a thick, creamy, emulsified body scrub. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Also, go check out some of my other DIY skincare videos if you love making your own DIY skincare. And products that I use can be found in the description box below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.